Mr. Chairman, I'd like to talk a little bit about the camera surveillance system. Obviously, with the disclosures on NSA data collection, there's been a pretty large public debate now about the balance between privacy, civil liberties, and security. What was the state of the camera surveillance system on the streets of Boston that day? We have uh, two sets of cameras, uh, Senator. We, we have uh, um, cameras that are set up for traffic control, and they are in the downtown area. So there were several cameras um, that were around the neighborhood, but not directly on the route. So we were not using uh, cameras uh, that were on the uh, marathon route for uh, law enforcement purposes at that time. Our Homeland Security cameras are on the major thoroughfares that uh, allow exit uh, from the city and uh, those are mostly in the neighborhoods. Uh, there is a significant amount of violence that occurs in the neighborhoods, and that's where we are. We had focused our cameras uh, prior to this. So, so who, who is paid for those systems? So you said Homeland Security cameras, is that paid by the federal government? That's correct. And then the traffic the controller? The traffic was probably from uh, transportation grants, but uh, the city has, has, has purchased them as well. Do those cameras have a dual purpose? I mean, in a case like this, can you can refer to those? Are those clear enough? Uh, they, they're, uh, they have a problem with clarity, and they also were not recorded until um, uh, just a few days after the marathon. So we've just uh, got transportation to start to record those cameras so we can go back and look at them. I mean, certainly my thoughts that, that day was, and I'm concerned about civil liberties as well as anybody, but uh, I was certainly hoping there were cameras on the streets that would identify these individuals. I mean, do you have a, a similar type of uh, reaction? I mean, were, were you, were, did you wish you had more cameras on the streets at that point in time? In hindsight, uh, cameras along that route and some other key locations, I think, are, are a very important addition to our uh, security plan. Uh, but what was good about this was the community pushed cameras forward and businesses all are using video at their businesses. So we were able to access those businesses very quickly and, and critical information came from the community on, on, uh, through cameras. And that's primarily how we had ID'd these individuals, correct? It was private cameras, private businesses and, and, and just private citizens? People on the street taking photos, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Mr. Serena, I'd like to talk, and, and maybe these questions will be better suited for our next hearing, but I would still like to talk a little bit about uh, Homeland Security's role in uh, the older Sarnayev's brother's exit of the U.S. and then coming back in and, and the system that's set up to track that, to be pinged. I mean, it is true that the DHS, uh, your system was pinged that he left the country, correct? That's a, a different part of within DHS and something that we'd I'd be happy to get back to with the appropriate people in the department, I, okay. I, more in the FEMA area. Okay. Th then I'll just save those questions for later, and, and Mr. Chairman, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, end my question at this point in time. Thank you. Fair enough. Good. Good. We'll have uh, ample opportunity, and, and we'll welcome uh, that, that, that line of questioning at our next hearing. Thanks. Um, General? General, yeah. 